Hello and welcome back. Today we're talking about instance types. So from principles of virtualization, we know that even though instances run on virtual hardware that they see as virtual, uh, there's actually an underlying server behind this hardware. The instance is running on that server and it has it's effectively using the hardware of that server. So if you want the instance to be smaller, for instance, have less access to the um, RAM, the memory, and the less cores of the server, then you create a, a smaller instance. If you want more access to uh, memory and CPUs, then you create a larger instance. However, that's not the limit to how instances can vary. Actually, the instance, since it's using the underlying hardware, its configuration, its type will depend on the server type. So for instance, here we have a, a server type of general purpose, which has a, a good uh, CPU and a good amount of memory uh, designed to handle a uh, variety of different tasks. But if you know that you need an instance for compute tasks, then you might use a server type of compute optimized. And here, uh, the uh, processor <laughs> is replaced with a more compute uh, focused processor, a uh, CPU. So then uh, you might say uh, for a different task, you might need a instance that is memory optimized. So here you can see it's got more memory. Uh, then another server type or another instance type is uh, for accelerate computing, where in addition to the general purpose setup, you also have uh, a GPU installed for uh, the graphics rendering or uh, doing uh, machine learning tasks. And the final instance type is uh, called storage optimized, where you also have, in addition to the general purpose, you have an HDD or an SSD built in, so you have access to that. So depending on your uh, use case, you'll choose a different instance type. And of course, this is a very crude representation of the different types. There is indeed five main types, but then within each type, there's a whole range of subtypes of instances, uh, and they can vary in different sizes and so on. But the key things to remember here are that your instance will depend on what kind of server it's running on. So it'll have the same type as the server type. Um, your instance can vary in size within that um, type. And also you can, uh, within each type of instance, there's lots of different subtypes. And I will have a look at that just now. Here's a quick summary of uh, this overview. And uh, if we go to this page over here on instance types, and we go to the top, you can see here, there are the five uh, instance types on there on the left. And so for instance, here's general purpose, here's T2. And if you scroll down, you'll see that uh, you've got T2 nano, micro, small, medium, and so on. And within even general purpose, you have lots of different um, uh, subtypes. So you have T3A, T3, M6A, and so on. And so these are called the instance families. And uh, that they're all in the general purpose. And now if you go to, for instance, accelerated computing, you can browse around here and see what uh, accelerated computing types of um, instances there are, and you can see that they have access to a GPU. So that's how this works. Um, here I've got an extra slide for your downloadable materials, just to remind you of that. And, um, and now we'll have a quick look at one final thing, which is how to read these names. So here you have the name of an instance, uh, what are the, do these letters stand for? It's quite uh, straightforward once we get through it. So the first letter is always the family of the instance. The second letter is the generation of the instance. If you have an option, always choose uh, the latest generation, just means it's newer. Uh, the third letter is an additional, is an optional letter. It's not always there, but if it's there, it means additional uh, capabilities. And here are some examples. We won't go through all of them, but for instance, A means A and it has an AMD processor. And once you get to know these, it's very handy. You can just look at an instance type and you can really know something extra about it. And finally, after the dot, we have extra large. That is the size of an instance. Uh, here are the different sizes that an instance can have. So there you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll see you next time. Until then, enjoy the cloud.